Good morning, everybody. Um, I'd like to talk to you briefly about peas and the variety of peas that we have growing this year. Um, I have all the names written down in the house, so to make my life easier, I'm just going to post right down below at each variety of peas the name of them, and this way you guys can look it up. Uh, rerun, rerun Stoke Seeds here where we are. Um, I've had really great luck with them. The people behind the desk and counter actually care about us gardeners and they really like to deal with us one-on-one -on -one if we have any issues. So this is basically uh, the first set of peas. This is called Jumbo. I know this for a factor because I remember them. Um, I wanted to show you guys that in the Jumbo peas they put a lot of foliage out and they went tall, which is not a big deal, not a problem. They are still flowering, but they're not producing anything. And they do like to topple over. Um, otherwise than that, their pea pods so far are producing basically about an honest four inch pea pod, roughly. Um, the peas inside, and this is definitely not ready to be picked, but because my one variety of peas is going out, we have to uh, make this video. Inside, they're still producing peas, but they're looking really good to be big. So this row here in front of you is known as the premium pea that Stoke Seeds have. Um, we've had some great luck. They were the first ones to come out of the ground. They were the first ones that we were able to pick. They produced enough to make it worth wild, but they're short. They're really short compared to the other ones they are up to my knee. The other ones are past my knee, almost up to here. They're short. They're extremely hard to pick. The flavor of these are decent. It's a good, nice flavor. It's better than the jumbos, but they're not as sweet. The other thing I don't like about this premium is when you pick a pea pod, for an example, I'm going to pick another one here that I think is ready. When you pick a pea pod that you think is ready, I've noticed that they don't like to, they don't like to fully fill out in the pea pod there. Um, that's one bad thing about this. So you can pick a pea pod, for an example, think it's ready to be picked, and then you get some really small peas. So that's one downside with the premium that I did not like about this brand, but it does work. So this here is our edible pea pod. Um, I can't remember the name, but it'll be listed right here. Basically, when they first came and started flowering and producing, I ate about two of them. Very bitter, very blah, very just not great. Um, now that they've gotten bigger, about double the size, they're edible. They're good, they're juicy, they're sweet. I can eat them all day long. So we will be growing this, this again, definitely hands down. Some of the better edible pea pods we've done and we really like it. So guys, these are the last pea set that we are growing. Um, they were the last to produce pods. They were the last to come out of the ground. They were also the last to uh, be picked. Now, one thing I'm going to say I do not like about them, and ignore the weeds here, I haven't been really weeding, they are short. They're basically between your knee and ankle. Um, one nice thing about these peas, though, they produce. Um, their pea pods, these, these peas almost need to be picked daily. That's how much they produce. And they produce some really nice, big, juicy peas. So I would be growing these again for my area and hands down I like this style of pea. The flavor, sweet, juicy, and some of the best peas I've had in a very long time to eat. So without further ado, that's our peas for this year. That's my two bits. So the Siennas, which are these I believe, we are going to be 
growing them again definitely the jumbos I'll probably burn out the seed next year just because I can because I like to do two trials back to back just in case our conditions change but the jumbos are not going to be coming back here and so is the other kind, kind the premium will not be coming back here so until next time guys hope you have a great rest of your day and see you later